I'd like to explain how order of operations works in Excel. When you enter a formula into Excel, Excel will first look for parentheses, then it will handle multiplication and division, and then finally handle an addition and subtraction. What this means is that it's extremely important to pay attention to your parentheses when you're entering formulas into Excel. Let me show you an example. We start our formula with the equal sign, as Excel always does, and we go 2 times 3 plus 4 divided by 5 minus 6. What Excel is going to do here is it'll see there's no parentheses, and next it'll look for multiplication and division. Well, it's got two multiplication and division tasks to do. 2 times 3 is 6, and 4 divided by 5 is 0.8. Next, it's going to do addition and subtraction, so 6 plus 0.8 is 6.8, minus 6 is equal to 0.8. If we add parentheses, we can manipulate the order of this. So for example, if I go in parentheses 2 times 3 plus 4 divided by, and then in parentheses again 5 minus 6, then the first thing Excel is going to do is whatever tasks it has in parentheses. In this case, 2 times 3 is 6, and 5 minus 6 negative 1. The next thing it's going to do is multiplication and division. So for there's one division problem here. 4 divided by negative 1 is equal to negative 4. So then 6, that's the product of 2 times 3, minus negative 4 is equal to 2. Let's put the parentheses someplace else. 2 times 3 plus 4, all in parentheses. So now we're going to give Excel a little challenge because it's going to have a multiplier and an addition to do in parentheses divided by 5 minus 6. What's Excel going to do? Excel is first going to do whatever's in parentheses and it's got a multiplication and an addition part of this. It's going to do, as always, the multiplication and division first and then it's going to do the addition second. So it's going to go 2 times 3 is 6. Then it's going to add 4 to get 10. So now we have 10 divided by 5 minus 6. What's ex what is Excel going to do next? It's going to do multiplication and division. So 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Minus 6 is equal to negative 4. Let's try something a little different. Let's suppose we go 2 times 3 plus 4 divided by 5 minus 6. Here, Excel is going to do whatever's in parentheses. So whatever's in parentheses here is 3 plus 4, or 7. Then it's going to do multiplication and division. So it'll go 2 times 7 divided by 5. And then that quotient, minus 6, gives you negative 3.2. What if we do nested parentheses? Nested parentheses are situations where you have parentheses inside of parentheses. Excel is going to start off with the most inside parentheses and work its way out. So, suppose we have two times, and you just use standard parentheses for each set of nested parentheses. 3 plus 4 divided by, here's the nested part, 5 minus 6. And that closes parentheses once, and then close parentheses a second time. What Excel will do here is it'll give you multicolored parentheses. So you know that these red parentheses match each other and the black ones match each other. It starts from the inside. 5 minus 6 is negative 1. 4 divided by negative 1 is negative 4. Then it's going to do the outside parentheses. Addition is last. So 3 plus negative 4 is going to be negative 1. Finally, it does the outside multiplication. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And by all the different answers that you see here, you can tell that it's the how you, where you place your parentheses has a big effect on your answer. So you need to be extremely careful when you're preparing formulas that all your parentheses are in the right place.